Hello, beautiful souls. I am Michelle McCoy with Autumn Flow coming to you today from beautiful Lake Norfolk. And the lake is actually about, what is it, 20 feet above average right now. So you can kind of see in the background where those trees are and the picnic covers, that whole area right there, all the way out to that big tree on the left, there's usually an entire campsite out there and it's all underwater right now. So it's kind of crazy, but we get a lot of rain here um, during the summer, spring, and this year it's just been like way more than usual. But it's a gorgeous evening and I love this spot, so I'm excited to be out here shooting this tutorial for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you what I'm calling the chest bump for very obvious reasons. The hoop is literally like bumping off your chest. And you kind of make this like huh, motion. Like you're doing like a dude chest bump or whatever. So the only prerequisite for this move would, I'd say maybe a walk the dog because your hand is making that same motion when you release the hoop. Only instead of releasing it towards the ground, you are releasing it in the air. And definitely do this with a small light hoop. So here I've got my 5 8 29 inch, really pretty glittery taped summer flow hoop, which is available at autumnflow.com. And if you wanna check out our entire summer flow collection, then it's over there on our site. So. Let's jump right into breaking down the move. So just like going into a walk the dog, you're gonna grab the hoop on the top of the hoop, dominant hand for me, that's my left hand, probably be better to practice this in both directions though. Thumb on the top of the hoop and first just practice swinging the hoop as if you're releasing it into a walk the dog, but you're not actually releasing it. Just kind of get used to the hoop's momentum here. And you'll notice how I'm starting at the top of the hoop and then I am flicking my wrist down and it's causing the opposite side of the hoop, the side that is farthest away from me, to bounce up towards me. That's what we want it to do. So just kind of practice that, trying to keep your wrist very straight so that when the hoop bounces up, it's nice and vertical just like that. So you might be familiar with, um, during a walk the dog release, there's a, a perfect time slot when you release the hoop to gain a lot of momentum with your walk the dog. And it's right when your wrist is at the bottom of the hoop, right there. And again, it's a very loose grip. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're doing your release into the chest bump. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your hand is not too high because otherwise the hoop is gonna come bump off of your face instead of your chest. So you kinda of wanna keep your arm nice and per parallel to the ground. So when you release it, it's right at that chest level. So for the chest bump, when you're releasing the hoop, your body is kind of naturally angled away from the hoop. As soon as you release the hoop, you want to turn your chest and really pop it out, crunching, or not crunching, um, relaxing your shoulders back, squeezing your shoulder blades together to pop out your chest. Just kind of imagine you're like, huh, chest bumping a friend. And sometimes if, you're, if your chest isn't aligned properly, it's just gonna kinda do like a lame little bounce and keep going that direction. We want it to bounce, sending it back where it came from. So, like that, like so. And then I grab it immediately with my receiving hand, which is the same hand that I'm releasing it with, thumb on the top, palm facing forward exact same grip releasing and catching the hoop. And this is just a really fun, simple move to play around with. I literally just um, 
discovered it by accident in my flow a little bit ago. I was attempting another move and I did that by accident and I was kind of like, hey, that's kind of cool. And obviously that, or um, honestly, that's how I discover a lot of my moves is just by free flowing and I do something by accident. So we're flowing, da da da. I'll show you how to transition into this move because of course transitions are just as important as the tricks themselves. So tuck toss is a nice, simple transition move. And then I grab it, you can go right into some sort of coin flip move. Continue flowing from there and ta-da! <laughs> That's all there is to it. So I hope you guys have fun with this move. Um, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. And if you would like to learn some other fun and unique moves, then check out my online hoop dance courses, which are available at autumnflow.com. I have a massive beginner course, which is 50 videos. And then I have an intermediate advanced course called Refresh Your Flow, which is like 75 videos. It's a beast. So check those out. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.